a lot. Okay. <laughs> Thank you all. All right, everybody. <laughs> much. Thank you so much for the warm welcome. I'm so happy to be here and uh, with you here in Minneapolis, St. Paul for the Republican Convention while we nominate Senator John McCain and Governor Sarah Palin to be our next president and vice president. I want to tell you that like all of you, uh, George and I were planning to come to enjoy this convention, to have a really good time, and uh, we would have been here tonight speaking, uh, but of course, as we all know, events on the Gulf Coast region uh, have changed the focus of our attention, and our first priority now, today, is to ensure the safety and the well-being of those living in the Gulf Coast region. And to all of those living in the Gulf Coast states and to each of you, each of the delegations from those Gulf Coast, Coast, Coast states, please know that our thoughts and our prayers are with you and your family and families and your friends who are still at home. The effect of Hurricane Gustav is just now being measured. When such events occur, we're reminded that first, we're all Americans. <laughs> And that our shared American ideals will always transcend political parties and part partisanship. We hope that the people on the Gulf Coast know that the American people are here to do what we can to assist them. <clears throat> President Bush has been speaking with the officials in the region to make sure they have what they need from the federal government. And today he visited the Emergency Operations Center in Austin, which is coordinating the efforts among the federal, state, and local officials. During our time in the White House, we've had the pleasure of getting to know each of the governors from those Gulf Coast states. They're all strong leaders and they were planning to be with us today. They all also happen to be Republicans. <laughs> but we know that it's far more important for them to remain in their home states to provide the leadership and the management of this crisis. Four of these Gulf Coast governors have taped messages for us and I'm sure you can understand why Governor Bobby Jindal of Louisiana could not participate. So please, <laughs> so please listen to these important messages from these four great governors. Let's listen to see what they have to say. Hey, good afternoon, uh, Rick Perry in Texas. I'm standing outside of a uh, beautiful C-130 aircraft that belongs to the Texas Air National Guard. Got a great crew of uh, Texas aviators behind me. They just uh, brought in the first load from uh, New Orleans. Uh, Governor Jindal had asked us to help with the uh, evacuation, and, and as you can see, that it's going well. And, and uh, uh, Bobby's doing a fabulous job of, of uh, coordinating uh, Louisiana, and, and I can promise you one thing, that the people of Louisiana ought to be really proud of this governor and what he's doing. Uh, and he's got some great neighbors. Haley's uh, doing his part over in Mississippi, and uh, certainly those of us on his west uh, uh, side are, are taking care of the Louisiana folks. And uh, we may have a big flood event here uh, in northeast Texas uh, in uh, Wednesday or Thursday of this next week, but uh, we're prepared for that. So Texas Task Force One just came off this plane along with the uh, ambulatory uh, patients and now they're bringing the litter patients off and uh, you're seeing 
Republican governors and uh, I think in Republican states doing a fabulous job of, of taking care of the citizens. That's what we that's what we do. And I'm really proud of everyone in Texas as they've reached out and done this wonderful job and uh, wish we were there with you. And, and uh, But uh, we're doing our job down here in the on the southern coast of the United States and I hope all of you are as proud of uh, the both the these great aviators, the Texas Task Force One, all the people who are uh, helping take care of folks from Louisiana that, that really need it. And uh, God bless you, and God bless the United States of America. Someone once said, what lies behind us and what lies before us are small matters compared to what lies within us. After seeing Alabamians respond to hurricanes in the past, I know this saying is true. I've seen neighborhoods come together to help each other in ways that bind communities for life. I've seen remarkable acts of compassion and charity. And through these storms, the collective greatness of our people shines through. Now, another hurricane has impacted our coast. This storm may challenge our states, but it will not shake our will. I'm proud to stand with my fellow Gulf Coast governors as we respond to this storm. We have a great team in place taking action to protect and save lives, offering help to other citizens and to each other. The teamwork among our states has been unprecedented. And I want to personally thank President Bush for his leadership. He and his administration have been in close contact with each office, and his leadership has been excellent. Thank you, Mr. President, for all that you are doing. I also want to express my deep gratitude to our National Guard. More than 3,000 soldiers in the Alabama National Guard have been activated for this hurricane, as they always do in times of trouble, at home or abroad. Our Guard soldiers are displaying the values that shaped our nation. Character, courage, and sacrifice. They demonstrate the highest form of citizenship. To our Guard troops, you are making this country proud. You embody honor, duty, and dedication. And ladies and gentlemen, it is those values, that strength, that will lay the foundation for our recovery. I'm Governor Charlie Crist. Americans across the Gulf Coast are facing difficult, challenging times with the approaching storms coming. Floridians are all too familiar with the destruction and loss these storms can bring. Tropical Storm Fay just left our state last week. And our thoughts and our prayers are with the families of the 14 Floridians who lost their lives in that storm. As I traveled our state in the days following Fay's landfall, I was reminded again of the resilience and strength of our people, the kindness they extend to one another, neighbor helping neighbor, asking not what party you are, but instead how you can help. That's just what we can bring in many ways in times of great need. On behalf of our nearly 20 million Floridians, our dedicated first responders, and the great men and women of the Florida National Guard, we stand ready to once again help one another to assist our neighbors across the Gulf Coast. That is what we do as Americans, what we do as Floridians. May God continue to bless our great nation and keep us all safe. Thank you very much. As we in Mississippi and across the Gulf Coast have been preparing for this major storm, uh, I want you to know that uh, we've been aware of, we've felt your prayers. We need those prayers and appreciate them too. Uh, for those of us who went through Katrina three years ago, uh, we'll never forget the generosity, the outpouring of charity, the hundreds of thousands of volunteers who came to our state and to Louisiana after the storm to help us rebuild and rebuild the Mississippi Gulf Coast bigger and better than ever. In the same way, we're very aware that you're pulling for us now. And I want you to know that we've all been working together from Rick Perry in Texas and Bobby Jindal in Louisiana. Bob Riley in Alabama and Charlie Crist in Florida. Uh, all of us have worked together and are going to continue to work together to help each other. And we want to say thanks to everybody around the country who's helping us. To the federal government, that has been a very strong partner as we've prepared and I have no doubt will be a great partner in the aftermath. But for friends at the Republican National Convention, uh, Marsha and I wish we were there. 
as a former National Party chairman, I guess uh, you can understand why I miss being there, but I know you understand even better why I'm here with our people and will be here until all's clear in Mississippi and until we've done what we can to help our sister states if they bear the brunt of this hurricane like we bore the brunt of Katrina. God bless you. Thank you for pulling for us. and so proud to be standing next to Mrs. Bush as we work together, yes, <laughs> as we work together to extend our support to relief efforts in the Gulf. As each of the Gulf Coast governors just expressed to us, their challenges will continue in the days ahead. I would ask that each one of us commit to join together to aid those in need as quickly as possible. As John has been saying for the last several days, this is a time when we take off our Republican hats and put on our American hats. In that spirit, we'd like to ask that you go to a website called Cause Greater or www causegreater.com. That will allow all of us to aid those who have been affected by Hurricane Gustav. Although the task of helping the region recover from this disaster is too large for any one individual or organization, together, together we can accomplish so much to help those who have been affected. This fund will play an important role in contributing to other relief efforts already underway. Thank you. Americans, Americans are known for coming to the aid of their fellow citizens when crises such as these arise. Today and in the coming days, let's work together to provide those affected with the means to restore and rebuild their communities. The charities listed on the screen behind us have been identified by each of the Gulf Coast governors to accept donations of funds, clothing, and other necessary and much needed supplies. As you can and as you are willing, please support this important effort. Thank you. Thank you all and God bless you.